Howdy, howdy everyone. I'm Amit from Mail Smartly. That we have really haven't touched upon yet is import and export feature in Microsoft Outlook. Although there are multiple items we can import or export in Microsoft Outlook, but in this video, we will learn how to import and export contacts in Microsoft Outlook. So let's get started. So go to the file tab first. In here, you will see an option open and export from the left navigation section. There is an option import and export button here. When you click on it, you will encountered with the import and export wizard. So there are few options here. Export RSS feeds to an OPML file, export to a file, import a vCard file, import an iCalendar, ICS or vCalendar file, import from another program or file, import RSS feeds from an OPML file and import RSS feeds from the common feed list. So first of all, I will show you how to export contacts from Outlook to your local computer. So if here you have to select export to a file. Click next. That will ask me to create a file of type. First option is common separate values and second option is Outlook data file. Here I have to select common separated values and again click on the next button. Now I am forwarded to the export to the file. Here you will have to select folder to export from. There are all the email addresses, all the folders which are connected to that email address. So here, if I'm talking about my contacts, I have to first dig deeper to the contact folder. So first of all, I will collapse all the folders here. So here are my email addresses. So I want to select the contact of this email, which I want to export it. So first click on this expander and find the contact folder. You will very easily find it because the contact folder is already available in this email address. So I have to scroll a little bit. See contacts. This is my folder I want to export. So select this and hit next. That will ask me to save export file as. You have to first click on this browse. This will ask me to select your location. So by default, I use desktop. This is the best place. You can name your file, merge contacts, 7-4-2023. You can uh, name, change your name. So I change my name to contact and I want to add the today's date. So I added my today's date hit OK. Now click next. Now here is an option. The following action will be performed. So here I have to first select map con custom. So I have to select map custom field. When I click on it, you will see dialog box, which is map custom field. Drag the values from the source file on the left, which is this. This is my source file and drag them to the appropriate destination field on the right. This is the appropriate destination which Outlook give me by default. Drag the item from the right to the left to remove it from the field mapping. So if I want my own custom list or my own custom CSV file, I simply use this clear map. You can also use that. but so you can use this name. So when I use this name and use my mouse left button, I can very easily drag it and drop to this first item. Or I can also use this clear map option to clear all these options. I will show you how. When I click on clear map, all this field is clear. Now one by one, I can use this option. I am using this because I don't want the entire list of contact or details to be exported. So I only use selected items like name. I can use uh, the phone number, business phone number. I can also use the email address, which is very important in Outlook. That's Outlook is all about the email. So I use this first email address, second email address and the third email address as well. 
So I only want the name, the mobile number and email address. I only want these data to be exported. Simply hit OK. Now hit finish. It will take a few seconds and your file will be automatically exported on your desktop. I can show you also when I minimize it. See, this is my file which is already exported. Now, the next step is if I want to import the same file back to Outlook. So first of all, this file, you can save it in your future uses. You can import that file when, whenever you want or you want to change the computer or you want to import the file in different Outlook, you can use it. So now again, you have to click on the file tab. Again, click on open and export. Click open and export again. Now here, I have already used this export a file feature. Now the another function is these four five options, which is import a vCard, import iCalendar, import from another program or file, import RSS feed, and another is import RSS feed. So first of all, I have to select this import from another program or file. Click next. Again, comma separated values. Use the same function. Click next again. Now, first of all, you have to select your file. So hit browse. I saved my file in the on the desktop, so I, I hit desktop. I have to find my file, which is this. Double click on it, your file is added here. Now there are three options, replace duplicate with items imported, allow duplicate to be created, and do not import duplicate items. So I usually use this first option, replace duplicate with, the, with items imported, hit next. Now here, again, I have to select the same folder because I want the contacts to be imported in that folder. But I use the same folder to show you how it works. I select this email address, hit contacts, hit next. Now here, again, I have to map custom field, hit map custom field. So this is my inputs. I have already, already selected the name, the phone number and email addresses. The five items I have imported in my first section of the video. So to map this, I have to first click on this name and hold my mouse left button and drop to the name section. Now business phone number, select this, change, find the business phone number, which is here, select it and the email address. So these are three and these are three. Fetch by drag and dropping. See, now hit OK. Now it will again take me to the import a file dialog box. Hit finish. It will take a second and all your contacts which you have exported in the first section of the video very easily imported back to your contact. I'm showing you from the same outlook and my same computer. But in your case, if you are exporting the contact from different outlook and want to import the same contact to the different system, you can do it very easily. If you have learned something new from this video, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. And don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any Outlook tips and problem solvers videos I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.